And hello again, everyone. Welcome back on our guided tour to the Amazon. This is Dennis. This is Tan Staff with the Paleo Gamer. And we are following our unnamed journalist here on his way to the Amazon to return the eggs of the white birds. And it looks like he's already having problems again because, once again, the Hydra Float is out of gas. And, but, we've made it. And is this a prisoner of war camp or a country? What is going on here? But, I love the Hydra Float. I think it's a great vehicle. It's just that crappy gas mileage. Alright, so we're out of gas. Well, we know before when we run out of gas, we can get away with just sailing for a while. Notice we know. So let's just go into sailboat mode and make our way on up the Amazon. We're trying right now to get to the village of Puebla. And it's a nice, relaxing sail. Now, obviously, this is supposed to be somewhere off the Amazon, I would say, from the way the critters and all we're seeing here. But Amazon is obviously some unspecified South American country. But, ah, here we go, there's a dock. We'll just tie it here and see if we can get some more fuel. So we can fly the rest of the way up. Amazon is going to take these eggs back, this one egg back. I said dock. I meant stop there, not run onto it. Jesus. Oh look, there's a fuel can tank right there. There's a gas pump, and I can't interact with it at all. Okay, whatever. The gate up there, a side path here. We're going to take this path first, because that gate is actually locked. There's an old priest in front of a grave, and the grave belongs to... Oh, Yekamani. Died in 1935. It was um, Valenbois' lover. She apparently died shortly after he left. Wonder if he knew. Well, let's talk to this person who is, of course, Valenbois' friend, Father David Mikowski. So, Valenbois passed away, did he? And you are taking the egg of the white birds back. You know that the three of us wanted the happiness of this country, and we have each contributed in our own way to its misfortune. We were a bunch of stupid and narrow-minded idealists. That's the plain truth. We realized this too late. Yes, too late. May God have mercy upon us. Oh, all that is so far away. She came from a mysterious village, lost in the jungle. Valenbois loved her a lot, you know. And then he betrayed her. He went back to Europe, and she... she pined away and died. Look, in the fort you will find some fuel for your engine. You still have a long way to go, a very long way. I will pray to God for him to help you with your undertaking. Alright. So, Mikowski here has given us the key to get into this fort. And he says there's some fuel in there. What, why do we need to go there? There's a fuel pump right there. Okay. Now, you may have noticed this before. Your inventory gets cleared between each chapter. We're currently in chapter 3. I've actually been skipping over the chapter titles, but we're in chapter 3 right now. Open key and go inside. There's a vulture lying around in here. Probably because there's a dead animal lying around in here. Okay. Not a lot of exploration to do. Let's just keep going back. This oh, there's a fuel can over here. Let's go get mm -hmm. it. And or maybe not. Koryuko. 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 Koryuko? 
and a what looks like a stink bug. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're now a prisoner. Although how trapped I am in this is in you. I could climb out that, you know. Sorry, I could. That's not. All right, we'll play its game. There's a little bug up here. See, it made a point of making sure we saw that bug. That bug is actually in the journal. And who locks a prisoner up with all of their possessions? We flip through this. This is um, from the first expedition, of course. See, this is the three of them. They've arrived in the Amazon. They've come up to the village of Puebla. This is where we are right now. You may recognize this in the bridge. Well, he talks about going for... There was a thriving market here. Well, not so much now. See, there's the church and that well we saw earlier. We did see the vultures, but he also talks about this insect, which looks a lot like... Well, I guess it's this one. Koryuko. Remember that's what she was... The voice was saying, Koryuko? Very common throughout the village of Puebla. The natives are very fond of it. They say it has soothing virtues. Hmm. Can I do something with that? Well, let's start by catching a bug. Take that little cup they left me. Why well, they left me a cup and there's no water source in here, some would suggest, but I guess so I can catch bugs with it. Okay, I now have a bug. Now let's look through this big hole in this door. There is a bottle of tequila out here. Now, if you remember, our guard, the guy who knocked us out, was drinking tequila. Well, if it's very relaxing, let's put the bug in his tequila. It makes the tequila busy. Carbonated tequila. Somebody needs to get on that right away. Carbonated margaritas would be good. Actually, a frozen margarita would be really good right now, wouldn't it? Ah. Oh, look! He fell over and left us the key. Why I need a key, since it looks like one good kick would take that door down, is anyone's guess, but okay. We have the key. We'll play it your way, game. And we're out. Too bad I can't lock him in there, but of course that would hold him for about five seconds, too. Let's go get the gas can we were trying to get earlier, and we'll get this coil of rope. Because that could be useful. Should I take the jeep? No, I can't. Too bad, that might also be useful, but use dead animals in the middle of your village. See, I can't go into this. Now, remember, this used to be a thriving village it's with a market and everything. I got TV, but no cable. Um, now it's pretty much abandoned. This shows how the country isn't as prosperous as they would like you to think. But there's a bar play billiards. That's the brightest colored thing in the game right there. Everything else is... Okay. And, oh, there's a soldier over here. Let's hear what he has to say. I, I didn't want to. Don't believe me. I didn't want to kill the padre. He said that you would make the pajaritos broncos come back with your with, with your machine. The white birds, you said. All that is just Indian stories. <laughs> stories by those damn dirty palest Indians. I am not an Indian anymore. I am... I am a citizen of the Amazon. <laughs> the Padre. The Padre got me all worked up. That is all. And then... Da -da 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 <laughs> the shot went off like that. I am only a peasant. <laughs> the soldier made me do it. The soldier! The soldier! I am not an ugly assassin! I am only a poor peasant. That is all. <laughs> okay, this guy is upset about something he did to the Padre. I'm afraid he's probably talking about Father Mikowski. You better find out what has happened. I'm assuming Father Mikowski would be in the church here, but we can't get in. There's no entrance here. However, there is this well right out front that we can interact with. So let's take the rope, put it in the well, and then climb down it. 
Now what is this well for? It's obviously not a well for water, because there's no water down here. There's this passage. So why is it even here? It's just a convenient entrance to a hidden underground tunnel. Because there was water in that well, that would have flooded. And we come out inside the church in one of the confessionals. Okay, let's see if we can find out what's going on here. And uh, that doesn't look good. They accused me of letting you in the fort. I think it's time for me to give account for my mistakes before God. I bear no grudge against those soldiers, you know. I forgive them. It's the least a priest can do before dying. Don't delude yourself. It's not by taking that egg back to where it came from that you are miraculously going to save this country. But it may do some good anyway. I hope so. People need something to believe in, to hope in, you know. And I don't want to get into too big of a debate here, but you're a priest. Weren't you the one who was supposed to give them something to believe in? What does that say about your religion? If... Anyway, I mean, isn't that why you have this Bible here? I mean, I assume this is a Bible here. Yeah, the Bible, and... Okay, so it's a blank Bible, and... Yeah, you use it to hide a key. Well, maybe the reason you didn't convince them of your faith in your religion is because you had no faith in your own religion either. There's a lock panel here in this altar. We can get to that with the key that we used before. And inside we have a letter and another disc that's apparently been here since the 1930s. What kind of computer are these people using in 1930? All right. We still can't get out, so we're going to go out the way we came in. Uh, before we do, let's look at... We can look at this letter. What the letter actually is, is... It's from Moret, Monsignor Moretti, who is the Archbishop for the Amazon. And Moretti is telling Father Mikowski that, yes, we need to make sure that we replace the natives' belief in these white birds with the belief in God, because it will... That way we can work with... Um, Alvarez, the dictator, and bring the people up to modern, to modern civilization. So, again, it's a story of let's destroy the natives' beliefs and their civilization and replace them with our own. Alright. Let's put the fuel that we just got into the, into the hydro block. Put our new disc in. Because this will take us to our next destination. Alright. You would think boat would work, but no, boat's not available. Neither is helicopter, neither is plane, neither is sailing. That's where we are now, and obviously that's not working. We have to become glider. Now, glider, I don't know, I think that's an odd translation of some type, because we're not flying and gliding. It actually is a, what I would call a boat. It looks like we're acting as a motorboat. So I don't know why they call that glider. And we get a longish cutscene here of us sailing up the Amazon, or up the river. I don't know if the river is called Amazon or not. There's the bridge we saw in the... Um, book for the village of Puebla. As you can see, the bridge has collapsed. Obviously, despite what Alvarez and Mikowski are wanting to do, the civilization here is not a paradise like they would like. There's the Amazon the vultures that we saw in the journal also. And now we're going to take the glider, our boat, our motorboat here, far up the Amazon and into the Heart of Darkness, although that's a completely different book which has nothing to do with this story.
see it obviously is supposed to be similar to the Amazon, but obviously it isn't the Amazon. And what happened to the Hydra Flood? Where are the wing? You took the wings off and the cover off. How are you? What have you done to the Hydra Flood? I like the Hydra Flood. I want one, but I would keep it in one piece. I would take it apart. Let's go on Charlton Heston. You did it! You never left. Alright. The small dock up here, we're gonna stop it in. Because we probably need fuel again. Because the Hydra Flood gets the gas mileage of a cruise liner apparently. Yeah, we're out of fuel again. Okay. Okay, this is chapter four. You want to see what a chapter cutscene looked like? That's what it looked like. Okay. There's a little hut up here. There's nothing in it. There's a hammock. And a table with some stuff on it. But there's no one here and nothing in there. So it's just kind of there. Over here we can see one of the animals from the Amazon. This whatever it is. It's cute. <laughs> Too bad you can't take it along as a pet. That would probably be useful for getting bugs off the boat. Back here there's a little hut. It's got a map in it and another fuel tank. Which is just kind of randomly stuck out here in the middle of the jungle. I don't know why. There's nothing else out here. Um... In fact, our entire reason for stopping here... The top's off. Did he just tear all this stuff off and leave it back there at Puebla? I mean, why did we do that? Refuel. I mean, we're acting as a boat. It's not like that's going to make it any more seaworthy, not having the wings and the top on it, and it means we can't sail. <sighs> okay. All right. This thing is just a kind of a map showing a waterfall and some little rivers and streams. It's not really detailed enough to make any sense out of. Okay, this says we're ready to go, so all I have to do is turn the engine back on and get it on our way. And we get another little sequence of us sailing up the river. Man, those green birds are awfully bright compared to the rest of this game. See, the texture is really muddy as long as we're moving, but whenever we stop, it clears up quite a bit. Yeah, I need to get through this little crack, but there's a bunch of things in front of There's nothing we can do. You notice I can't get off here. All I can do is hit this button, which is the horn. Yes, the Hydra Float has a horn. It's primarily a boat and a... Primarily a boat and a flying vehicle when it's not a submarine, but somehow it has what sounds like a Volkswagen horn. Whatever. Then we get to sail about another 20 feet where there's a couple of buffaloes. Now, the problem here is that, see, again, I can't go anything except tell it to move forward. I can't even blow the horn anymore. So all I can do is tell it to go forward. I'm kind of forced to do this. The game kind of railroads you here. It's kind of a... You don't have a choice. So you sail into the buffalo and it butts you. And somehow or another... This kills the engine. He hit the front of the boat and killed the engine, which is not even in the water. The engine is above water back there. Okay. So, we're now disabled from an engine. 
However, I can go this way now. I couldn't do that earlier. Now, why I couldn't have turned and sailed down this direction before I ran into the buffalo is anyone's guess. But, yeah, it's kind of an annoying thing that the game does to you here. Alright, what we have to do now is we have to go into grapnel mode. See, we're good on everything, it's just that our engine's broken, so we can't continue to go anywhere. Now, at this point we go into this mode where I have to click on a rock ahead of me, and then pull this lever. That pulls the ship ahead, the boat ahead. Now, if I don't click on the rock, if I just hit the lever, see it just sort of splashes. So I have to make, and if I click the wrong thing, it'll do the same thing. I have to click on the rock I want to pull myself forward via, and pull myself forward. Fortunately, there seem to be a lot of rocks here. And again, why don't I just sail this way? Now here, if you notice, there's a rock, there was a rock off to my right. I can't even look over there to see it. The only thing I can fire the grapple at here is this animal in front of me. Which, okay, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Now, he tows the boat along for a while, but then I get pulled into this thing here and stuck against this dock. Fortunately, there's a dock here, but now we're kind of stuck and tangled up, so we can't go anywhere. So I have to go get my grapple back. And remember, the grapple could pull the boat, but obviously it can't pull that thing back. And there it is. If you try to interact with him, he'll knock me out, because I've backed him into a corner. So I have to go do some exploring. Now, there's a path through the jungle. There's only one, so it's a little tricky to follow. What I found the best way to do it is every time I stop, pivot a bit to the right, and then go forward until it turns back to the left until it gives me a direction again. See? Now when I get to this big rock, I have to turn almost completely around. Now at this point there's two paths. That's the one I just came up. Now I'm going down this side path the other direction. I keep doing that little zigzag maneuver, as I was called for describing it. And I wind up in this little cave here, where there is a blowpipe and some blow darts. Now I just have to... oh, there's a butterfly there, just to add this thing. Now I just kind of go straight back until I get to that same point again. Remember where I had two paths? Now I take the left path, and now I can just kind of go straight until I get back to the river. Alright. Okay. Now I have this guy. I don't want to get attacked by him, so we'll use our blowpipe and we'll dart him. Okay. Take the grapple back. All right, we have the grapple back, so now we just have to go back to the um, boat ourselves. The grapple, as you know, we even have it in the inventory, the grapple's already made its way back to the hydrofloat all by itself. All right, so now we need to go back again and go after the rock we should have in the first place instead of going after it. And I don't know why I am suddenly making that weird noise. Okay. Right here, there's a bit of a difficulty in seeing where we need to go. But there is... you would think it's one of the rocks over here. No, there's a... you can't see it because of the muddy textures, but there's a dot kind of in front of us here. And we're just high up to it. Now, the only rock that looks promising is this one right here. My mouse is misbehaving all of a sudden. There we go. But if we try to do anything here, we get these two little dinosaur-looking things that think it's a game and throw our crap book away. So we need to find out a way to get rid of them. Fortunately, we're tied up to a dock so we can 
we can't go anything with him directly, so we can walk up this way. And I hear bees or wasps or something. Yeah, there's a bunch of wasps messed up here. I don't know why I'm standing here. Anyway, we can pick this little stick up here. And then use it against that stick and rub two sticks together to make fire. That makes this start smoking. The smoke causes all the bees to go away. Because they don't like having their wasp nest or bee nest beehives um, smoked out. And so they come up and start bothering these little dinosaur looking things. Now I guess it's a good thing that they didn't come after me, since I'm standing there, but no, they decided they'd go after those things instead. So, whatever. So, I can go back to the hydrofloat again. Now I can grapple that rock I tried to grapple earlier. And we're once more on our way. That weird noise is coming, or whatever it was. Now, you could have seen it when we were moving. It's hard to see now. There's a rock right there. And again, that looks like the obvious target. It's not the correct one. That one is. And we're about at the end of this. As you can see, we're coming up to the waterfall there. There's the waterfall on the right that we're passing. And right up in front of us, and notice the waterfall stops whenever we do. Um, right in front of us is the village that Yukamani came from that Balamba spent some time at. Uh, this has been going on for a little bit. Um, I'm going to stop here, and we will... Come back next time, and we will have the conclusion of the Amazon, where we finally return the white eggs. Until then, I am Dennis, I am Pan Stoffel the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time for the end of Amazon. See you then.